Photo Sounder's Spiral CM is an exclusive new addition to the CM plugin suite. It's a colourful visualisation tool that maps the harmonic content of an audio signal across a spherical GUI. Once installed, Spiral CM should now be selectable as an insert effect in your host. We're using Ableton Live here, but any door will suffice. Open an instance of June CM on a new MIDI track, and then open Spiral CM on its track. To introduce Spiral CM's graphical display, we're going to use a basic sine wave, as a sine consists of simply a fundamental frequency with no upper harmonics. Select Bank B in June CM to reset it to the init patch. Then change Oscillator 1's waveform to a sine. Play up and down your MIDI keyboard whilst observing Spiral CM's circular interface. We can see here how simple sine waves, which represent individual frequencies, are plotted by position and colour. Each octave has its own colour. For instance, the note C1 is red, C3 orange, and C6 green. You can hover the mouse over Spiral's interface to view precise note and frequency values. Other wave shapes consist of multiple frequencies that combine to form the sounds we hear. You can think of these as multiple sine waves playing at once. Switch June CM's Oscillator 1 to a saw wave. Play C1 again and then note the difference. Lots more colours. The tone's fundamental is still present as the central red band, but many more harmonics can now be seen too. At C1, the saw wave's third harmonic can be seen in the key of G, and its fourth harmonic is seen at E via the note labels around the plugin's edge. These notes, C, E and G, form a major triad, which goes some way to explaining why basic major chords sound so musically correct and satisfying. Now switch oscillator 1 from saw to pulse, and observe the change when playing. A saw wave contains all harmonics, but a pulse only contains odd-numbered harmonics. And this difference can be observed here. Turn down Spiral CM's visualization parameter to lower the color intensity and home in on only the most dominant harmonics. Now we can visually deconstruct an existing sample's musical, tonal and harmonic content. Load example chord loop .wav found on the DVD and load Spiral CM as an insert. Whilst the loop is playing, we can see it is comprised of notes A sharp, F and C sharp. A handy way of picking apart existing chords and learning them for yourself. Now let's try a more complex example. We're going to take a layered pad sample and recreate its bottom layer with June CM. First, let's use an instance of Spiral CM on the sampled chord. Reducing the colour gain via the visualisation parameter helps us pick it apart. We can see its notes at F2, A2, C3 and E3. We add a new MIDI channel with a fresh June CM. We initialize the patch, add Spiral CM and enter the MIDI notes. Now we can compare the two channels without even listening to June CM's output. We've got the notes right, but we can see our synth has far too many upper harmonics and not enough harmonic spread. Initially, we lower June CM's low pass filter to 81% to remove the highest frequencies. Now we raise the voices to 2, detune them slightly by 31%, 
then turned spread right up to 84% to add that wide harmonic beating effect. Finally, 52% of noise, 24% of fat, and 25% output volume bring the two displays even closer together. We now have a lush, deep pad. Thanks to Spiral CM.